Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have the other top four match. Oh my gosh, they just rolled a 12. We have the other top four match of the World's Points Qualifier Playoff European, and let's see, whoever wins this match gets to go to Japan and goes to Worlds in August. The person that loses this match has to play in the third, fourth playoff, and whoever wins that gets to go to Worlds, so only one player in top four doesn't get to go to Worlds. But, okay, so we're going to get to see uh, Gabriel deciding to go first with their Runic Fur Hire strategy, Flashing Fire, Summon Hugin, and then they're going to go Hugin Effect, Discard Rex. You know, we've talked about this before. If they discard Rex, it's probably because they have another one. I'm pretty sure I saw Fossil Dig in their hand anyways. Uh, I couldn't tell for certain, though. Yeah, Activate Fossil Dig, go Search. <clears throat> okay, so... That's going to go search Rex. Uh, they obviously know what they're playing against. They know that they're playing up against Trap Labyrinth. So maybe they can make their board a little bit more specific to that. They're going to go Normal Summon Rex, No Effect, Activate Rookie, Tribute Off Hugin, go Special. So doesn't play Mayhem. They're going to bring out Beat from the deck. Alright. Uh, link those off to make Donner. And then they can go Donner Effect, Tribute, Bring Out, Beat, and then Bring Out, Rex. So Tribute, Bring Out, and then activate the Beat Effect to go Search. So Beat will go Search for Raphael. Yeah, definitely Search for Raphael there. Uh, they're going to want to yeah, shuffle their deck because they're going to go Raphael, look at the top two cards, and try to add one to hand. So you know, trying to hit Runic Tip. Come on, come on, come on. Hit the runic tip. Hit the runic tip. Oh, sprite blue and red. Okay, well, I mean, we'll take blue to hand. We'll take blue to hand. That's fine. And then they're going to go special summon blue. Blue effect. Go search. And then blue's going to go search jet. Special summon jet. And then activate jet effect. Go search out sprite starter. All right. And then from here, uh, they haven't gone in the Fogo yet. They're going to activate Fountain. And then activate Destruction, Special Summon. Bring out the Munin. And then Fountain Effect to put back and draw two. Okay, so we got put back, Destruction, Flashing Fire. Okay, yeah, going to shuffle and then let them cut real quick. And then put back, draw two. Trying to draw some runic cards here. Okay. Now they have their Fogo set up. They want to make Fogo. They want to put IP underneath of it. Yeah. So they will link. Special summon out. And then effect goes summon. So that can bring out Donpa now. Yeah. Bring out the Donpa. We need that in rotation too. I guess we could use blue and Rex to make a Gantic, and then Gantic go to ahead and special summon out. Uh, that could bring out Carrot, right? Or Red, and they could use Gigantic plus Beat to make the IP. Yeah, so bring out Carrot. They search Starter, so Starter summons Red. Wouldn't you actually Gigantic summon Red, Starter summon Carrot? So that way you take less life points. Or maybe they want to hold starter. Like they just set it. And then like maybe try to like summon blue on the opponent's turn or something. Oh, so they just set pass. Doesn't try to make IP at all. Leaves the gigantic there. Leaves the beat there. Leaves all of it there. Maybe trying to get more actual value out of their cards. I mean, leaving the beat there also isn't bad, because that means Rex doesn't have to go through for them to get anything. So if the opponent goes, like, Prosperity, and we go Carrot, Negate and Destroy, then we get Fogo Effect to draw three. So they went End of Main, they went Rex, Summon Raphael, and now they're going to go Raphael Effect and Beat Effect. So go search for Rex, and then we get to look at our top three cards this time and add one to our hand. So shuffle up, pass the deck over. Let's see. Can we hit anything good? We know that they main deck Nib. 
Dark Ruler. I just saw Dark Ruler in their hand. Okay, so we see Freezing, Blue, Freezing. Well, that's Freezing the hand. Yep. That's okay. That's a, that's a decent hit. It's a decent hit. Depending on what the opponent has. Ariana could just get completely shut down by that Freezing that we just got. But we tr did try to go into Battle Phase, so maybe... Maybe we still try to go to battle phase, and we hit them with, like, double evenly match. You know, double evenly is very strong. But it wouldn't even be that crazy, because your opponent would still get to draw at least three cards. We're going to set two cards, try to end turn, end phase, go destruction, and they just scoop. Because Carrot can negate the other one. That's just game. Uh, they kind of just needed them to not have an MST. Maybe they had like double skill drain or something. But okay. Going on into the next game now. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. Okay. And then. See we should almost be in the next game. Okay. There we go. So now we're going to get to see Labyrinth go first. Uh, Gabriel probably siding out the Dark Rulers and the Nibs that were in their deck. And decide to switch those with non-engine cards that actually work in this matchup. But starting with Pot of Prosperity, go banish 6 cards. And then look at the top 6. So that sees Lady Labyrinth, Lord of Heavenly Prison, Pot of Prosperity, Lovely Labyrinth, Eradicator, and Gozen. That's like a lot of not good cards. <clears throat> that's really only a choice like prosperity and lovely not really choices um lady isn't bad lord of heavenly prison's not bad eradicator's not bad maybe if they just have like a bunch of engine in their hand already goes and match being a floodgates obviously nice okay so they're gonna grab the eradicator sure that's fine. So maybe they have Lord of Heavenly Prison in their hand. Yup, activate Lord of Heavenly Prison effect. And then set cards and pass turn. So set three, two in hand, including the Lord of Heavenly Prison. And then pass turn. They draw. Okay, so now... What are they going to have to beat this? You know, you can't start with like Harpies or Lightning Storm because of the Lord of Heavenly Prison. They're going to start with the Fossil Dig, turning a spell card into a monster card that's just already making them lose to eradicator a little bit less even though that monster card does search a spell card but that spell card could always be chained to eradicator uh they're gonna go ahead and search out rex here okay hmm wonder what else they have evenly potentially that, that could be a card. The opponent would probably be able to stop that, though. Being able to, like, summon Lord of Heavenly Prison. But then you have to think, maybe their... Maybe their Eradicator would call traps? Probably not, though. It'd probably just call spells anyways. They're just gonna set one and then try to pass. Okay, yeah. And they just allow the turn to get passed. Doesn't have any welcomes there a welcome would have been huge getting to summon engine from deck lord of heavenly prison setting now they're gonna set a back row activate lord of heavenly prison past turn okay so you know gable they did last turn was fossil dig search set a back row pass didn't really decide to play very much now we're gonna set a monster set a back row pass deciding to still not play very much and Dinkaboo just draws for a turn. Doesn't have engine. Wow, yeah, just not having engine. It feels so bad. Like, if the opponent were to play in their trap into their trap cards, they'd have engine. They set a monster. That makes me think that they have Big Welcome Labyrinth. I don't really know what monsters you'd, you'd set here. Maybe like a singular coup clock. The, the singular coup clock that they play could be set. Activate Runic Tip. Uh, we're going to chain Big Welcome Labyrinth. And then in response, do we see Royal Decree? Nah. Imagine though, Royal Decree might actually have been game if they had it. Also, nobody would ever expect Royal Decree. 
But, okay, that resolves. So, big welcome, summon lovely, bounce back, and then runic tip, go search, and then... I don't even know why they chained the big welcome in response. It's not like lovely could even get hit there, right? Because it's just at the bottom of the deck. They're going to grab destruction, and then they have to banish one. Well, you got to banish one first. Yup, and then hit skill drain. Activate lovely effect. So lovely will now go ahead and rip a card. Do they decide to rip from hand, or do they, do they rip from field? And they could also chain eradicator in response calling spells. And then that will that will really be able to rip a lot. So yeah, Chain Eradicator, Tribute Lovely, Call Spells, Any Response. We have Lord of Heavenly Prison still protecting our back row, so the destruction that was searched could be chained to hit Eradicator just to make them uh, hit four cards off their deck. They're going to chain Rookie for Hire, Tributing the Rex, Chain Judgment, and the judgment there is huge because it ends the chain link. So, yeah, all, all the other spells just go now. The freezing, the destruction, they have, what, Donpa, Rex, Rex, Blue. Okay, two Rexes are completely dead also. And then we get the Rip one, because lovely. That rips Rex, okay, fair enough. And then Lord of Heavenly Prison can summon itself out and go set from the deck. And then all we have to do is just have a single trap for the first card, right? Because it was blue, Rex. Oh, I already forgot what the last one was. It was a monster, though. Um, I think it was, like, red or something. Donpa, Donpa, that's what it was. Okay, yeah, Judgments the Donpa summon with the Quickness. And now they have engine rolling, Lord of Heavenly Prison set the engine from deck. They are very far ahead. Pass. Switch to attack. Well, I guess, what traps do they have in their grave? They don't have any traps in grave, right? Hmm. It's a little bit rough. Yeah, they're going to go activate Big Welcome, summon Lovely back from grave, bounce back Lord of Heavenly Prison. And then activate Lovely Effect to go ahead and destroy. And they just admit the feat there. Um, yeah, that's just game. Lord of Heavenly Prison is going to summon itself out. And then that's just 89. And that's just game. So going on into game number three. Okay, we are going to get to see... Okay, just shuffling up real quick. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get to see Runic Fur Hire go first. Now, Labyrinth does have stuff like Sphere Mode. Um, sphere Mode could be really big. Evenly, a solid evenly could be good. Okay, there's 20, about 28 minutes left. So time probably won't be coming up here. But to be fair, last time I said that, in the other top four match, time very much did so come up. They're going to go activate Runic Tip, go search, make them banish one off the top of their deck. Grabs Dispelling, that's just to activate. Okay, they hit Ash Blossom off their deck, that's fine. It's actually not a good hit at all. That's worse than hitting like a random like Tears of the Overroot, at least that's like a potential one of normal trap card. But they search dispelling because I plan on activating it to special. Yeah. Like they're just thinking through their whole play again right now. Activate fountain. Activate the dispelling to go special. Bring out Hugin. And then now they're going to go Hugin and fountain. Yeah, Fountain Chain Link 1, Hugin Chain Link 2, most likely. Oh, could get greedy with it. Hugin 1, Fountain 2. Any response? Chains Ash Blossom. Yup. I mean, hey, fair enough. You play into it, you can get hit by it. They're gonna go ahead and search out Fountain. Special Summon Blue. Blue effect to go search. 
Okay, blue go search out Sprite Jet. Mm, they do have mannequin cat things that they can do also because they put the ash blossom in grave. They're gonna special jet jet effect to go search, go search out Sprite Starter. And now they could make mannequin cat, mannequin cat, special ash. And then mannequin cat, target, go special out from the deck. I guess that's not even like that good. It just gives you like one different type. So what are you gonna use? Use carrot and blue to make mannequin cat? Or jet, okay, that's fair. I was gonna say, I don't think you're gonna use Hugan for this though. So they're gonna make mannequin cat, mannequin cat effect, detach, special summon back out the ash blossom to their field in the middle and attack position. Mannequin cat effect, target it. And then that's gonna bring out carrot from the graveyard and now they can use mannequin cat, blue and Hugan to make the fogo. Okay, yeah, it makes that. And then effect to go special summon. So it's gonna go through. Also, putting a body on their field could potentially allow us to stop. I oh, don't know. We're just going to pop it. Yeah. That's really it. We're going to go search rookie for hire. We're going to pop it and then draw, which is very good. Uh, activate rookie for hire. Tribute the Rex off our field and go special. Bring out beat. Okay. And then we're going to use beat plus carrot, make Donner. And then we can Donner Effect Tribute, bring out Beat, and the other one. I mean, that's what we're doing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Donner Effect <clears throat> Tribute to go bring back, bring out Beat, bring out Rex, Beat Effect, go search, and then Beat. Ooh, you could grab Donpa. And then you could beat Summon Donpa. And then you could go for Donner. Donpa, Pop, draw three. Drawing three does seem pretty good. So they're going to grab Donpa, beat effect, summon out Donpa from the hand. Okay, that's fine. They don't even have to summon Donner. I don't know why I said that. It's definitely just IP. Yeah, it's like definitely just IP. Oh. Okay. I was going to say it's IP and then Rex effect to summon back out. And then that tri triggers the Dawn Puh, which gives them the draw. And then they have the IP, which is pretty good. But they're going to pop and then Fogo effect, draw three. So getting to draw just a bunch of cards, punishing the opponent for using a hand trap which was the punish on them. It's funny because the Ash Blossom stopped the draw three, but the Ash Blossom also allowed them to draw three. Okay, and then they just pass turn. Okay, okay. So they draw for turn. Hmm. I guess going for this setup though also allows your Fogo to draw three on the opponent's turn if they commit anything to the field that's face up. Yeah, Don Puck can only pop face ups. Um, if it could pop any card, that would be kind of broken. Okay, they're gonna go main phase. You know, if they do go battle phase, it will be pretty good here. Oh, they just passed. Okay, so they just passed turn. They are under runic spells, so they can't go for game. They're gonna go Donner effect, tribute Fogo. Go special summon out too. They're going to bring out beat and Rex. And then they're going to go beat effect. Go search. So beat, go ahead and give them access to Raphael. Yeah. Oh, they actually go for Wiz. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, that, that will be in their deck. Game three. The card is very good for time. It's also good because it negates spells and traps. So you can put it in against trap matchups. Oh, they're going to go Flashing Fires, Summon Out Mudden, and then Fountain Effect to put back and draw. So put back three, and then draw three. 
Okay, yeah, just maybe trying to draw some non-engine here. Maybe they have Cosmic Cyclone in their side deck. That's like a versatile going first. Spoiler trap removal. Now Fossil Dig. Go search out Rex. Okay. But the real question is, what are they trying to actually end on? Because, you know, they tributed off their Fogo. So, are they trying to make another Fogo this turn? They're going to summon Wiz. Wiz effect gain life points. Like, I wouldn't be against just making a Fogo right here. And Fogo goes summon Raphael. Raphael, look at some cards. And then... You know, that also will really help your Runic Engine. Because you'll probably hit Tip there. And if you don't, then... Okay. They just make IP... Which, this is also kind of fine. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Because this ends with Fogo on field. I just wasn't sure if they wanted to maybe make another one to bring out Raphael. Because you can Rex, summon out Fogo from Grave. Don Pup pop their card, and then you have Fogo on field, so then you get to draw three. And you have Beat on field. I don't even know if they have another Rex in deck, or another target. I mean, I know they have Raphael. That's true. So they do have Raphael in deck that beat could search. If they didn't draw it already. I think they were just asking how much time's left. Because there's 19 minutes. And they did use another runic spell. So they could just pass again. But they're going to activate Super Poly. And then they're going to discard Super Poly. Use Donner plus beat. And then... They're going to go into Mud Dragon. Yep, same attribute, different type. And then they will try to Mud Dragon. So I'm guessing this is in battle phase. Like they went battle, activate Super Poly, try to beat over the Donpa. Sure, Donpa can't pop anyways. Because Mud Dragon can't be targeted. And it would also stop everything else from being targeted. But they decided to beat over the Donpa. Okay. The Wiz is a spell trap negate. Assuming that they have a fur hire. No, we actually do know that they have one. Yeah, we know that they have Rex in hand. Off of the beat from last turn. So they're going to go set three cards. Uh, maybe we see a Runic Destruction at end phase to go ahead and rip one. Uh, maybe we see, oh, yeah, yeah, Rex. They're going to go Rex, Banish, try to special summon back. That's going to summon out Fogo. Okay, yeah, now if they activate Destruction, pop a back row, uh, they could get Fogo effect. They don't have three fur hires, but you still get one draw off of it. Okay, they're going to go IP effect. I was going to say, gain any draw off of Fogo, even if it's only one. It still pushes you really far ahead, especially against these, like, trap matchups. Really get your runic cards back into action and get all the other non-runic cards out of your deck quick. Now they're going to summon Nightmare Phoenix. Effect, discard freezing. Does get rid of the Wiz, though. And then they're going to pop a back row. Oh, uh, they hit the third Super Poly. Wow, they drew all three. Fogo effect the draw one. Yup. That's why they went for Phoenix over Unicorn. Which is fair. Now they're going to go Runic Destruction, the Pop, Solemn Judgment, make them banish four. Wow, hits Welcome Labyrinth and Ariana, Punishment. And then Fountain effect to draw three. Okay, uh, maybe they draw a runic tip here. They can activate it during end phase to go search destruction or something. But wow, yeah, I don't even know how many cards in hand they have, but it's it's got to be a lot. It's got it's actually have it just has to be way too many cards in hand. It has to be like nine or something. And they have cards set. Uh, they have Rex that can still bring back, which will be good. They're going to activate a set destruction to pop the set card now. So trying to out that maybe forces them to chain it now. 
If it's like a floodgate, then they just have to send one. Oh, it's just judgment. Makes them banish. Yeah, that's tough. Their hand was what? Like double judgment, triple super poly? That's just so bad. It's like almost good. It's like almost good. Yeah, it's almost really, really good. Now they're gonna go normal summon out Rex. Okay. And then, where do they want to go from here? Because under, they're under runic spells, so they can't go for a game. But they're already so far ahead in advantage. They're going to make Unicorn. And then, you know, you can't use the effect to spin back Mud Dragon. But now they're going to go Rex, Banish, Special Summon out Donner, Donner, Tribute, Special Summon out Donpa. And then, Special Summon back out beat okay decides to do it in that order could have special beat and then special donpa and then oh okay fair enough they drew the raphael so they're gonna beat summon raphael look at the top three add back runic tip put dark ruler and sprite red back into the deck and then they're going to use unicorn and raphael make access code Oh, okay, yeah, it's a pretty good way to go ahead and out that. And they can get Fogo effect to draw three. Doesn't even want to do it. Yeah, it doesn't even want to use the draw three effect. That's when you know you're very far ahead. When you're not even activating your draw three effect. They didn't even shuffle either, I was going to say. Yeah, oh, oh, look at that, I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, you get to go to Worlds. That sucks, though. Dinkaboo kind of just got, like... I mean, they just, they just got beat. There's not a whole lot you could do there. Uh, their hand was also very unfortunate. Uh, drawing three Super Poly and drawing two Solemn Judgments. But, okay. Yeah, that's going to be it for the other top four match. We still have the third, fourth playoff match, which is going to be between Branded and Labyrinth. So, that will be an interesting matchup. Uh... And I'll be back at it very soon with that match. And with that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.